you can easily insert images into your PDFs using Bluebeam Review. There are two main ways to do this. In this video, I will show you how to use the image tool from the toolbar and also how to use the Windows Snip and Sketch tool to drop images into your PDF. I will also show you how to open image files directly in Bluebeam, how to insert your company's logo, and finally, I will cover how to mark up an image that you inserted and copy it into an email. Let's get started. The first way to insert an image is using the image tool from the palette. You can also just type the I key on your keyboard. That brings up this dialog box where you can select an image and click open. Insert your image by moving to the top left corner of where you want that image to be. Click and drag to the size that you want and release the mouse button and your image is inserted. Now, you can also use the same tool, select your image, click open, and if you single click, it drops the image in at full size, which you can see here, much larger than in our sheet size. So you would have to scale that back down using the grips. So it's much easier to click and drag for your first insert. Now, once you have this inserted, you can modify it, again, using the grips to resize. If you don't hold the shift key down, it'll automatically keep it proportional. But if you did want to change the proportions for whatever reason, if you hold the shift key and drag, it allows you to modify the size without keeping the proportions. Obviously, we don't want to do that here, so we'll hit Control Z. Another thing you can do is select the image, right click, and select Crop Image. You'll see the cursor change, and if we wanted to focus in on this outlet, I can draw the box where I want to crop and release, and now that image is cropped. Unfortunately, there isn't an easy way to release the crop or to set it back to the way it was. So I'm just going to quickly hit Control Z to undo that so that we have the full image back again. Another way to insert an image into your PDF is to use the Windows Snip and Sketch tool. So we'll minimize Bluebeam, and I'm going to double click to open this image, and that'll bring up the Windows Preview. And then I'll click the Start button and type in Snip, and then select the Snip and Sketch tool, which now opens this window. I'll click New, and then I will select the region that I want to copy. Click and drag, select the region, and now that's been copied to the clipboard. If you ever lose this, you can always come up and click the copy button, but it's already on your clipboard. Change back to my PDF, and I move to the lower left side of where I want that image to be inserted, and I use the keyboard Control V for paste, and you see that image is pasted in. Now, just like the image insert tool, it pasted at full size, so I'll have to select it and use the grips to resize however I want. Another way to get an image directly into Bluebeam Review is to simply open the image file straight from the interface. So select File, Open. Down at the right hand side, you can see it's defaulting to PDF files, but we can change that to all image files. And now you see our images pop up and we can select our image and click Open. Now you can see that this image is converted into a PDF, but I cannot select the image it's automatically flattened. So if you do this, there's no way to modify this image in the future. It just comes in full page size. Next, let's add a logo to our sketch template. You can see we've got an area available here for our logo. And if I minimize this window, I've got three different logo options here on my desktop. This first one is a JPEG file exported from Illustrator. Next one is a PNG file exported from Illustrator. Now you'll notice the size difference. This is 4.59 kilobytes. The JPEG is 37 kilobytes. So preferably you should insert a PNG file of a logo since it's generally very few colors. I've also exported out of Illustrator my logo as a PDF file. And there's a benefit to that that we'll see in a moment. So let's switch back to Bluebeam. And I'm going to zoom in on this title block area. 
and I can use the insert image tool or press I on my keyboard and select the PNG since it's the smaller file, yet it maintains good quality and click open. Now I'm going to click and drag where I want my image to be located and it's going to keep it proportional and it gets dropped in. I'll use the arrow keys on the keyboard to get that sort of centered. Now what you'll immediately notice is that this is very pixelated and that's because this is a pixel graphic rather than a vector graphic. However, if you use the exported PDF out of Illustrator, which is going to keep the vector information, you'll see that it comes in much better looking. So I'm going to minimize Bluebeam. I'm going to go back to my logo file that's saved as a vector PDF. I'm going to open that. So that brings that into Bluebeam. And I'm going to use the snapshot tool, which is the G on your keyboard. And I'm going to click and drag to select my logo exactly how I want to pull it in. So that's automatically going to copy. So that's now on my clipboard. I can flip back to my title block file and I can move my cursor where I want to insert it, bottom left side, click and then type control V on my keyboard and you can see it drops this logo in. And I'll have to resize it down to fit the box. And likewise, I can just nudge it slightly to get it centered. But what you'll see here is this is a very crisp logo because it maintains the vector information. So now I can select that, right click, and select flatten, and it will now be part of my sketch title block. So to review, let's insert an image into this title block and mark it up using the image tool or pressing I on the keyboard. Select my image, click open, can then click and drag to insert the image. Once the image is inserted, I can select that image, come over to properties, I can use the crop button, you can also use the crop button up here, or you can select the image, right click and hit crop image. I'm going to crop to the zone I'm interested in. And now that image is cropped and move it around, maybe make it slightly larger. Okay. So now my image is here and I want to add markups to the image. So I can go over to my tool chest and select whatever markups I want to use. So in this case, I've got a leader. I want to add a note to this to say, replace the outlet. And now that's there. I can modify that slightly. So I might want to change the size of that so I can select it, change my font size to be larger. And that shows up like that. So now I have a marked up photo in sketch form. Now, before we go, one last trick to help you get this sketch into your email is you can use one of two methods. So you can use the snapshot tool that's built into Bluebeam. Select that. Click and drag for what you want to take a snapshot of. And now that will be saved into your clipboard. And you can jump into your email program. Select the location, control V to paste. And now your snapshot is inserted. The other way to do this is to go back to the Windows Snip and Sketch tool, click New, click and drag to select the region. And now that's copied into the Snip and Sketch tool. And you can flip back to your email, select the location you want to drop it in, right click and hit Paste. And again, it drops the image into the email program. This also works with other email programs like Microsoft Outlook. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, click the like button. And as always, you can head over to bbtoolsets.com for more helpful tutorials or to download our Bluebeam toolsets for architects.